The Wayne Assembly Plant is a dark shell of what it used to be. And walking through here, I feel an odd mix of emptiness and strength. The images speak to us in a way that, that words can never um, convey. <laughs> a stroke of luck that transformed UAW worker Tony Rocco from installing door panels to safety painter and resident artist. I refer to it as a Cinderella story. I mean, it was huge for me. It's just that I wanted to be able to do a good job. Yeah, to do a good job and, and yeah. sort of like meet their expectations. So there was definitely some fear as well. There's no fear in these eyes. Rocco's work is colorful and full of emotion. Since his first murals of Joe Lewis and Muhammad Ali, Almost 20 years ago, Tony Rocco has painted almost 50 different murals at Ford plants throughout their system. But his new painting, Lily, set to be moved across the street to the new Michigan assembly plant, is a labor of love. In the piece we're going to see, um, we're using the repurposed materials of the former Michigan truck plant. You know, it was one of the most successful uh, facilities in, in Ford history, you know, the, you know, we kicked out the F-150 and the Expedition there for, for years, and um, you know, sadly that plant closed. But it's just been a really good feeling to give these materials that survived the demolition um, a new purpose, sort of like crossing over into the the uh, the new facility and uh, in a meaningful purpose. This work is meant to inspire. The repurposed material is a sign of change. In the painting, Lily plants the seeds of a new beginning for the industry, the worker, and for a safety painter named Tony. I got back to painting for myself, and uh, it seemed that immediately, you know, galleries began to take interest, and, and before I knew it, you know, I mean, I'm two years into the the personal career, if you will, mm -hmm. and um, you know, I have a solo exhibition coming up at 323 Gallery in, in Royal Oak, and um, it's just really taken off. Marvin Gaye and Michael Jackson were commissioned for an exhibit in Hitsville. Plus, he will do a live painting at the auto show. Tony also has a show this weekend at an art gallery in Royal Oak. If I can ex in inspire somebody to to kind of have that shift in thinking and, and sort of look at traditional materials differently and um, what some of the options could be for them. He's a 40-year-old husband and father of two, and a UAW man who knows that the emptiness of hard times can be an opportunity for colorful change, even if it happens one brush stroke at a time. From Wayne, Lee Thomas, Fox 2 News.